Folks, I got a few stories that I want to bring to you today. Just some great news updates, the latest and greatest from Nintendo that should create some interesting discussions. One of that being that, hey, it looks like Nintendo may have been teasing more rare NSO games. That's right, rare LTD. Look, we just got that nice little five pack of games at the developer direct yesterday. Shadow dropped on Nintendo Switch Online. You guys know about Blast Corps and, you know, Killer Instinct and all the rest. But they actually look like they are teasing four more of them. So we got to talk about that. On top of that, we have some launch sales in just like one of the few places we get real numbers coming out of japan so we get to look at the launch sales for mario versus donkey kong and on top of that we also need to talk about nintendo really making some fundamental changes to their marketing likely because they're heading into a new generation if we actually look at the history of their marketing changes <laughs> First, let's dive into this one over here that's very interesting. I actually found out about this through Game Explain, so full credit to them. Link to their video down below. But during the NSO trailer yesterday, there is this scene where there are four games that are surrounded by constellations, making the shape of a box. If you actually look at the background, there's four more games, or, well, four more constellations at least, making the shape of game boxes. Two of them are quite tall, likely featuring NES titles, and two of them are wider, which could be Super Nintendo or Nintendo 64. Now, I obviously don't know what games these are going to be. None of us do. This could just be nothing. It also feels sort of like a subtle tease for those that pay enough attention. Look, we've been getting some rare games trickling to NSO over time, and in my opinion, if some of these games are featuring Nintendo IP, Maybe Nintendo wanted to save that for a regular first-party Direct. And that's where I come into here and say, Diddy Kong Racing, anyone? Look, there's a lot of really good rare LTD games from back in the day, but Diddy Kong Racing with full online multiplayer would really make my day and would be something we'd even probably live stream for a little bit just for fun. So I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Do you think this actually means anything? Do you think we're actually going to get some of these games? Or do you just think that we're reading too much into this? Let me know down in the comments. Next up, we need to get into the Japanese sales charts because look, Mario vs. Donkey Kong launched last week and a lot of people might want to know how it's doing. So we're looking over here at Nintendo Life and they put up this interesting article here that says Japanese charts Mario vs. Donkey Kong takes its fight to the top. Over 60,000 copies. So we can just get right to the list here out of Famitsu. So we see at number one, Mario vs. Donkey Kong is sitting there at 61,930 units sold. Pretty decent launch right there. Followed by Super Mario Bros. Wonder and Momotaro Dentetsu World. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the rest of that. By Konami. Actually super close to having three Mario games at the top with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe at number one. Four. So you can take a look at that list there, and that's really, really interesting. Another notable one that was brand new last week that a lot of you guys might have heard of is Skull and Bones from Ubisoft. That one launched to 6,635 units only on PS5. Now, when we go down here, this list is quite interesting. This is the hardware for last week, and you look at, they did the math there. It says, you know, 48,391 total Switch consoles were sold compared to 38,212. So around, you know, 10,100 or so more systems of Switch sold than PS5. And that's fascinating, of course, as Switch is still maintaining a slight edge over PlayStation 5 in week-over-week -week sales in 2024. But what I also always find hilarious is, look at the bottom at number nine, new 2DS XL. That's right, baby. While these things are no longer being made, right? Nintendo does not make these anymore. Somehow, a grand total of 14 of these bad boys sold brand new all across Japan last week. I don't know. Look, I just find it to be really interesting to think about. And man, when I look back at Nintendo, I always wonder what is it about their systems that keep them selling well after they're even out of print? And I guess that's just having stock available. I don't even know. Look, it's whatever. Let's go ahead and get into our last story. So our last story is actually quite fascinating because Nintendo has these big marketing changes they make seemingly when new systems are coming out or when a new generation has begun. What are we talking about? Well, the other day we did have that partner direct and that's really exciting stuff. And 
Honestly, I really enjoyed it. But maybe one of the most notable things that come out of it is that they updated the graphics for Nintendo Direct, which they haven't really done at all since 2017. Look, the Nintendo Switch came out, and then we had Switch-era Nintendo Direct-style graphics. We had Wii U-era ones. In fact, fellow content creator Arrow posted up this nice little video clip looking at the three next to each other over on Twitter. And I got to be honest, it is quite interesting to watch how each era has had its own style of visuals for Nintendo Directs. Now, I would argue that this new style isn't as big of an evolution away from what they set up with Nintendo Switch, but that would also make sense if we're heading into a Switch 2 situation where you don't want to make it seem like we're completely different than what we were before because we're building on top of what made Switch successful. So look, obviously this doesn't really mean a whole lot in the grand scheme. It's just nice to look at and talk about, but it is interesting to think that Nintendo might have already have their marketing in 2024 changed up for directs and they're already implementing it now, signifying that we are getting kind of close to Nintendo actually showing us a new system. I know, I know, okay, delayed and all of that stuff. I'm just talking about in the here and now, like, hey, Nintendo made a major change to their graphics on Nintendo directs and they haven't done that for a long time. Uh, not since, obviously, the beginning of the Switch era. Now, one thing I also want to note about this that I find to be just a little interesting is they didn't call that Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase a Mini, even though, in hindsight, it behaved exactly like Nintendo Direct Minis in the past. So this could suggest also a marketing shift heading into the next generation where they get rid of that Mini branding and just stick with the sub names like Partner Showcase, Indie World, Nintendo Direct without a you know a, a, a subtitle is literally just a big Nintendo Direct. Maybe there's no such thing as Nintendo Direct Mini. So I find this just to be something to pay attention to as the year goes on, as the years go on, and see if we ever get that Nintendo Direct Mini branding back. I don't know. I never really minded the branding, to be honest. But for some of you guys, maybe you're just happy it's gone, or maybe you're confused. Maybe you want it back. I have no idea. Let me know what you think about this whole Nintendo Direct Madness stuff down in the comments below. That's it, folks. A three-pack of news for you today. There's other news floating out there, some updates on some of the games that were announced in the Direct. Honestly, none of it was really that fascinating to me, but I'm sure it is fascinating to you. We'll link to some of the best stories down below that you know might interest you as an example. Uh, there's one out there about Shin Megami Tensei Five Vengeance. It's like twice as long as the original game. We'll put some information down there for that. Didn't cover it in today's video because, frankly, it's just not a game I'm that interested in. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll catch you in the next video.